Hey guys and welcome back to our sixth video of this series about the Mac Mini and uh, its performance regarding the uh, motion graphics and video editing. And uh, in this sixth video we are going to see the After Effects capability of this machine. So to do that uh, I made two tests, one of them with one of my templates that I used to, to benchmark uh, machines <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm in need of um, knowing how good uh, it will be and in this case i use the dramatic film strip photos template um, created by me idealized by me and you can i'll try not forget to put a link to the old preview in the meantime you will be watching a preview of this um, of this template uh, so let's check the graphic to see what uh, the Mac Mini did on this particular test. So the Mac Mini rendered this template um, full resolution um, in uh, QuickTime H2.64. Uh, it rendered in 44 minutes and 8 seconds. Uh, comparing to the MacBook Pro, which rendered in 29 minutes and 56 seconds, uh, which is uh, almost, well, not half, but 14 minutes left. Um, and my main workstation rendered in 25 minutes. Um, I don't know if I mentioned or not, but I did um, put it the clock to uh, to stock, no no overclock whatsoever for the tests. So 25 minutes for rendering this particular template. Uh, regarding the workflow of the Mac Mini, yes, you can do uh, you can work in After Effects with the Mac Mini. There's no doubt of it you will lose uh, on the render times, um, that's a fact. Um, and here it's not about the, the GPU, it's more about the, the CPU and, um, and RAM, but RAM it has 16 gigabytes of RAM, so it's more that the CPU that doesn't do so well. Uh, it is an i7, uh, 2.3, Turbo Boost at 3.3, Ivy Bridge, uh, the 4770K, it's a totally different CPU, and the MacBook Pro having the Aswell uh, CPU makes uh, better timings. So the experience um, with your workflow, you can expect uh, not excellent results, but as I say, if you are making small projects, uh, and bear in mind that this, this template is, is heavy template, uh, it has uh, a lot of... Um, not only motion blur, but uh, depth of field, uh, camera blur, and things that... Well, it's not camera blur, but uh, to simulate the, the, the blur of the camera, um, as you might have watched on, on the preview. And uh, so it's a bit of a heavy with many layers, and uh, it takes time to process. But if you are making um, smaller projects, you will have no problem using After Effects on this machine. Now let's take a look at... After Effects ray tracing, and for this particular test, I used uh, the Teddy Gauge uh, benchmark for After Effects CS6. Uh, you can use it for any version of uh, After Effects above CX6 and <laughs> CC uh, in this case. Um, just Google around for this name, Teddy Gauge benchmark IA CS6, and you will find it. So you can test on your machine, see how good it will, uh, how good it will be, or how bad it will be. And let's see here this graphic. Mac Mini just went um, down the drain. <laughs> Sorry to say this, Mac Mini lovers. I am a lover of Mac Mini, but it just cannot handle. And uh, why is that? It's just because the, the, the graphics card cannot handle this, uh, this test um, ray tracing. Uh, in here, I will post, uh, of course, the, the the screenshot. I waited about 40 something minutes. Well, I didn't wait. I was working while it was rendering, but um, I think it was 30. But you will check on the screenshot, uh, and it still had about two hours or three hours to render something like that. So I just gave up and stopped the the benchmark. Um, it's just unbearable. Not only the render times, but you cannot work with. Um, with After Effects ray tracing on this machine. You cannot. The, the workflow is just unbearable. And when I say this machine, I will say any machine that has uh, no dedicated graphics card. It will be impossible to work. Now, on the MacBook Pro, it took 27 minutes and 46 seconds to work, uh, or to work, to render. And you can work with the MacBook Pro um, on ray tracing. 
this is a demanding uh, benchmark uh, as you can test on your machine to see how good it is uh, took 27 minutes and you can work with the MacBook Pro it's uh, in this particular case if you are after a machine that uh, is capable of ray tracing forget Mac mini and jump to the uh, MacBook Pro or if you don't need portability try the iMac or if you are available to to spend uh, the money on a Mac Pro um, just go that way <laughs> and uh, I didn't have a chance to see any Mac Pro ray tracing test yet but um, uh, I hope well I hope they have uh, AMD graphics card so I don't know how, how good they will be uh, I know Nvidia has good core enabled so now just for um, as an example here it is the HP that you saw in the first video it has the dedicate, dedicated graphics card 630M took 45 minutes it was able to render as opposed to the Mac mini which wasn't um, it's not a good experience working with ray tracing in a machine like this it's not I have to be honest um, but uh, it can manage a, a project that is already built and you just have to make a few changes and then render it out like a template uh, it can work um, don't expect much of it um, but this was just an example the CPU is this exactly the same the Mac mini and the HP DV6 uh, 2.3 to robust 3.3 um, and it was able to render now the i7 4770k which is my desktop took 6 minutes and 42 seconds <coughs> sorry uh, this is the timing that you could expect from a iMac fully spec'd out um, with top uh, CPU uh, maxed out on RAM and uh, the GT NVIDIA GT 780M you could expect this kind of results here as opposed to the uh, Mac mini so this is something to to consider uh, it is indeed if you want to use ray tracing Mac mini is not for you uh, not at all so guys <laughs> I hope I could help with this video here uh, for the next video we will talk we'll be talking about the motion 5 rendering times that was my reason to get the Mac mini uh, and we will see what results uh, will be so once again thanks for watching if you haven't checked the other videos please uh, check them well please if you want to check them if not uh, that's okay by me I, I made my part I shared them with you so it's okay don't want to waste more of your time thanks for watching and I'll see you soon